Jesus Christ is a person, a person, right? And you're saying that he's God. How is a person God? If you really think about it, Adam had no father and no mother. God created him with his bare hands. Am I lying? Am I lying? Yeah, that's true. But what about who who can who can forgive who can forgive sins? Who can forgive sins? Only God. Exactly. Yeah. Christ forgiveness of Christ forgiveness. Christ forgiveness. Christ forgiveness ministry. Christ forgiveness ministry. Christ forgiveness ministry. When you put your trust in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, He will change you from the inside out. And you are born again spiritually, reconciled to God. That's the gospel message today. For every single one of you, no matter what your skin color is, no matter where you came from, where you were raised, what you've done, there's hope for you. But you have to turn away from your sins, repent, and believe the gospel. Call upon his name. You have a question? Not everyone believes in Jesus Christ. You're kind of disrespecting everyone around here talking about Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, that. And not, anyway. You're spitting false information, stop. Not everyone believes in Jesus Christ. You're just, you're saying that, oh, for us, we, we don't believe in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is a person, a person, right? And you're saying that he's God. How is a person God? So you're telling everybody that, oh, this, that. But, like, you're, if you're going to believe in something you keep it to yourself you don't want to go tell everybody here because that's so disrespectful i'm going to say that okay oh, yeah. are you, are you can i can i answer response? you before wait, you wait. don't run away don't run, don't run away. away yeah don't run away we are here today to share the gospel message about jesus because jesus said i am the way the truth and the life can i did i didn't let you talk and you let me talk jesus said that i am the way the truth and the life and no man comes to the father except through me jesus said in his own words that he's the only way to god and he said go into all the world and preach the gospel to amen. every creature amen that's what jesus said and if you i i'm not sure if you have done your research about who jesus is but i encourage you to read it for yourself don't take my words for yourself don't take my words because jesus is God in the flesh and he came to die for your sins that's why we are here today that God demonstrated his love for us that while we were yet still sinners Christ died for us amen 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 praise the Lord who's in agreement praise the Lord amen let me just tell you everyone has their own religion anyone can believe anything they want Okay, exactly. Yeah, so why are we not allowed to you, share? No, you're right. You just everyone said it. has the belief. <laughs> Amen. Everyone has the we right agree to with believe. you. Praise the Lord. Everyone has the right to believe what we they agree. want, right? Amen. I am Amen. a Bible believing Christian here Amen. today this evening and I believe Amen. that Jesus Christ is Lord and I believe that Amen. He is God Amen. in the flesh. And that He came and died, that Amen. He was buried and that He Praise rose the Lord. Again. Amen. And as I, as you said, everyone is allowed exactly. to believe what they want to believe. Amen. So I'm entitled here today. I have the right to stand here today and share my beliefs. Brother, is Ma that right? Matthew chapter 10, When Jesus Christ comes here and goes and gets... Is that right? Do I have the right to express my belief? Yeah, but not in front of all of downtown and saying Jesus Christ is... It says here. Why, why don't I have the right to tell everyone what I believe? Do you have that right? You, you just said he had the right. I'm going to tell everybody. No, I'm not saying that you go, but uh, you would have the right to do so. I'm not saying it. I'm just saying stop telling everyone because some people don't believe that. Do you know why I'm telling people that? Because Jesus said that he's the truth and people need to hear the truth. Whether they, whether they like it or not, because I'm actually here because I love people that much because that I want them to know the truth. Amen. I want them to know the truth. Amen. Because everyone that is standing here listening right now is lost in their sin. And Jesus said it in his very own words that he is the only way to God and that Jesus made it very clear. And I'm saying that with a deep concern in my heart. Jesus made it very clear that there is a heaven and that there is a hell. And that everyone who dies in their sin will go to hell. 
That's why I'm here. There is an urgency to share the gospel. Okay, first of all, it's since Jesus is a person and Jesus is a person. He's not a God. You're right. He's a. Let me just finish. Let me just finish. If Jesus, okay, if Mary, then why is it Mary of God? If Jesus is the Son of God, but Mary had her. Do you know what it means for Jesus to be the Son of God? Son, Jesus is not the Son of God. That's the whole point. It's he's a. He is the Son of God. He said it in his own words. He's a prophet. Can I show you the verse where Jesus said in his own words that he is the Son of God? Been changed. It's not the real. The Bible has been changed. I can promise Muslim. you that. I can promise on God that the Bible has been changed. And it's from and there's only four people that have changed it over the years. If you read um the Quran, the Torah, the Quran, and the other the other one has been they have all been the same and they change it except for the Quran. The Quran has never been changed. You guys can you guys can believe whatever you guys want. I'm not disrespecting anyone or whatever, but I'm just saying that I'm just saying that if Jesus is a just a person. He's not a god whatsoever. When Jesus comes here and takes you guys all to heaven, then please let me know because Jesus is not the person that's going to take you to heaven. It's God. Okay, can I answer your question before you go? Hey, she's running away. Tell her to ask her okay. she's running away. Everyone, I want everyone to hear. I want everyone here that is standing by. We are not here to win an argument, okay? We are not here today to put you down. We are here today because we want you to know the truth. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father except through him. First of all, Jesus is a uh, Jesus. I believe he was a uh, Macklin birth. He was a uh, a real good prophet. But uh, I I really don't consider him as a uh, like a god or anything like that because you guys believe he's a god because he was born without a father and you guys claim that God was his father or whatever. But if you think about it, he was a Macklin birth. Like he had no father. Like that was a miracle, right? But if you really think about it, Adam had no father and no mother. God created him with his bare hands. Am I lying? Am I lying? No. Yeah, that's true. But what about who who can who can forgive who can forgive sins? Who can forgive sins? Only God. Exactly. What did Jesus do? In Mark chapter 5, when they brought the paralytic to Jesus, you know what Jesus said? Mm. My son, your sins are forgiven. Amen. You. Amen. And the Amen. Jews, you know what the Jews said? Yeah. Who, is, who does that guy think that Lord. he is to forgive sins? Only God can forgive sins. That's blasphemy. And Jesus said, you, My son, Amen. your sins are forgiven. You. Amen. Of course, if you're the chosen one by God, Jesus, Moses, if, if they say, you know, you're, 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 if they did a good thing and they said your, your thing is forgiven, they obviously got a spiritual from God. You understand? They got a spiritual, you know, from, how, do you, how, do you think, how do you think they get messages or, how, you know, they get a Gabriel, angel Gabriel comes to them or they have a dream or, you know, all their dreams are real. So, I don't know. Yeah, you're right. But there are so many instances, so many verses that I can lead you to in the Bible where, yes, Jesus was a man as well. But Jesus also, we can't deny the fact that, for example, in John chapter 20, verses 28, Thomas came to him and says, after he resurrected from the grave, he said, my Lord and my God. And that would have been the perfect opportunity for Jesus to for open rebuke and saying, I am not God, I am just a prophet. But Jesus said, blessed are you because you have not, you have, you, that you believe. Jesus actually acknowledged worship. 